Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Liberty Flames and the BYU Cougars. And, of course, we look here at our star watch. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. We have two excellent players matched at the point guard position. It's going to be interesting to watch how they each try to get their team involved throughout the game. And it's time for the tip off. As we tip into the first half, the butterflies are flying, baby. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. He manages to keep it in play. So Dick, so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside. But they're playing with four people on the exterior. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets his first. Misses the second. Strong rebound, and now looking to move it down court in a hurry. Now they've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. And now the fadeaway jumper. I tell you, he's got every move in the book. What an offensive player. That fadeaway's impossible to block. Now they work it around the perimeter. Puts up the J. Missed it. Puts it up. Can't connect. it go perfectly executed the Cougars set up in their zone motion looking for a good shot our three-prong attack tonight ladies and gentlemen I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline Looking for a good shot. And up. And in and out. Throws it up. That was a beautiful alley-oop. He called for it and then went up and put it down. Picture perfect, Brad. On the left side. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around, fade away. Gets the J to fall. Fed the low block. Or swatted away. They just keep shutting the door. Tries for two. He doesn't get the hoop. And now getting set up here in a four round one. I love the four round one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. 
Now you've got to give help on him, and it leaves people open on the perimeter. And they better be able to make that open jump shot. They work the perimeter. Launches away. And off the mark. Nick, if you ask me, they're not getting a whole lot of open looks tonight. They're not moving the ball the way they were taught, Brad. The Cougars are going into their zone motion offense now. He puts up the J. Jumping in looked pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. The point guard receives the ball. For the bucket, off the mark. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One-on-one. -on -one. Number three receives the ball. Trying to go inside. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Off the mark. Goes up for two. Off the mark. Got a terrific play though to tip that ball back. The awareness, the basketball IQ. The power forward handles the feed. Lee picks up the foul. First personal foul. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Another great sophomore right here, Dick. Well, Brad, he's still mature. If you're on the class, but it's about improvement day by day, year after year. Steps to the line for the freebie. He sinks it. Second shot, no good. Good rebound, great position on the rebound. Good block out. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up with it. Nope. Good rebound position. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. 21 makes his first substitution. I tell you what I like about him, Brad. He brings all kinds of energy to the floor. Time to pick up the defense here now. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots the jumper. They're not doing a very good job of finding the hoop tonight, Dick. Well, they're not working the ball around. They're not finding the open man. Working it around the perimeter. Turnaround jumper. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Side. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. The Cougars set up in their zone motion. For two, makes it. 
When you can pass and score like he does, it makes a coach's job a little bit easier, wouldn't you say, Dick? Tell you, Brad, he can get an easy eight assists a game or put up 15 to 20 points on any given night. A well-rounded player who has a good feel for the game. Tries for two. Way too late with the block. Goal tending. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. The Cougars running their zone offense here, Dick. Well, the key. Where to go but up. So the inbound play on the baseline. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to feed the low block. With a great block. He manages to keep it in play. And they come with a double team to stop it. That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside when they're playing with four people on the exterior. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Hey, a player senior year is such an emotional one. The key is to stay focused and not get caught up on being in your last year of collegiate basketball. If you focus on the right things, win or lose, it'll be a memorable experience. right where they want him, Dick. They're working around the perimeter. Turnover by the freshman. Look at that spacing. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart that goes out of bounds and we'll stay at this end Number 23 is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. With the jumper, about 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Gabriel receives the ball. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Number 23 is called for the foul. Third team foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. They will line them up. First one, good. Nothing but nylon, NBN. Oh, this man's in trouble. The center takes the pass. The crowd begins to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? Takes the shot. Off the glass and no good. Pushes it up.
Number five is charged with the foul. Third team foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Charlie strike. The man might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. Number 21 takes the pass. They've got him trapped here, Dick. Hey, they got him in some trouble, Brad. And it's not loose. Or blocked. You bet you. Number 25. Into their zone Number motion 25. now. Both teams looking to get things going here. Cross court. For the bucket. Drains the shot. Number 21 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. He steps up to the line. It's good. Those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Gave it up. They've got him right where they want him, Richard. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up, and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior, and they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Eight minutes left in the game clock. The power forward receives the pass. Now trying to feed the low block. He attempts the jump shot. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. Hey, that guy had 1,400 on his boards. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> Takes the jumper. Missed the jumper. The point guard gets the pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Jumper. Jumper won't go. The shooting guard with the ball. Here's a double team. It goes up for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. On the outside. For two. They just can't seem to get a nice look at the goal tonight. They have to be patient on offense and find some easy hoops. The senior commits a turnover. The Flames in transition. Tries for two. Buried it. Into their zone motion now. With the J. Off the mark. On the dribble. Gives it up.
About six minutes remaining on the outside. Jumper can't connect. And they go into their motion offense, working with four around one here. I tell you, the four around one makes it tough to defend the big guy on the interior with one guy. It really does. You've got to get help on him, and if you don't get help, he's going to have a field day on the interior. Pushing in transition. He hammers it home. Number 21, Looks like they're setting up into their zone motion. They work it around the perimeter. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Here's another solid junior, Dick. Knowing there are guys on your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful is a big bonus. Steps to the line for an easy one. First one is no good. He misses the second shot. Momentary look from three-point land. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. He's money with the shot. Good spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. About 10 seconds left in the shot clock. Might be a ball screen here, Dick. Well, oh, you gotta use that screen. Hey, how to dribble and use the screen is important in a pick and roll situation. He gets it to go. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Comes up short. Looking for a good shot. Ten to shoot now. Number 13 with the foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him for the easy basket. to the line for the free throw. Makes the first shot. He misses the second. Check that basketball with that good defensive rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. And now getting set up here in a four-round one. I tell you, the four-round one, spacing's a key. You better have good spacing, and you better have people on the interior that can score with their back to the basket. If you got a big guy who can post up inside and who has passing ability, he's going to create opportunities for the guys on the perimeter. He 
goes to the free throw line. He makes it. The Cougars seem like they want to play this game at the next level on defense, Dave. Hey, look out for the full blood pressure, Brad. It'll be interesting to see how the pressure will be handled. Gets it to go. For two. Can't get the bucket to fall. They just can't find the open seams on the floor. They're struggling to score right now. Looking for a good shot. Let's it fly. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. On the right side. Tries for two. Tickles a twine. Offensively, they get into their zone motion. They work the perimeter for the bucket. The missed shot. The shooting guard takes the feed. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside. But they're playing with four people on the exterior. And come up short. Work it around the arc. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. They go into the low block. Number three picks up the foul. 16 foul. I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He goes to the line. He gets it to go. Converts on that free throw line, and that's major. The small forward with the ball. Shot clock is dead. Oh, well, this man's in trouble. He may be in some trouble here. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Missed it. Number 21 is called for the foul. 16 foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. the foul line. Hits the first shot. And he got them both. He shoots from long range. He misses it. At the end of the first half, the Cougars trail by nine. 
BYU shot very poorly from the field in that first half, partner. Certainly not the team we're used to see shooting man from the floor. They'll just have to work twice as hard to find their stroke back. Pops back into the ballgame after a well-deserved rest. Wow, he makes such an impact on his team when he's in the game. At both ends of the court, man. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside. But they're playing with four people on the exterior. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits a foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. He'll visit the charity strike. He makes the first. Either. He may be in some trouble here. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up with a shot. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Up and inside. Puts up the J. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Dumps it in. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. Gave it up. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. up for two they don't seem to be getting nice rejection number 41 has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here he needs for something positive to happen which will light his fire and get him going number four handles the feed ball down low puts it on the floor turn around fade away off the mark The shooting guard with the ball. They're working around the perimeter. We approach 10 seconds now on the shot clock. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure it was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, MBN. They've got him right where they want him, Richard. And they go into the 
another motion offense working with four around one here. Well, you know, the key, as you said, Brad, is motion. You have to have good movement on the perimeter to set up the guy on the inside, and everything's keyed about the entry to the post player. When he gets the ball, you can run backdoor cuts, you can run screens, you can run back screens, you can do a lot of things on a perimeter. He rejects it. And the ball's out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. He may be in some trouble here. Tries for two. He comes up empty. Basketball. Robs him with the ball. Gabriel receives the ball. He shoots from downtown. Busts the jumper. On the right side they look to get it to the inside steel go up the other way get a layup they'd like to get it inside to the low block number 11 is charged with the foul the planes are moving the ball well they're getting contributions from a number of players on both ends of the court Dick. it's been great to watch them move the ball like that and they're doing all the things it takes to win they're committed to playing good team defense and when your team is doing those type of things you're smiling as a coach With tons of room. And he missed. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Will take the shot. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Foul charge. I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He'll go to the line. Misses the first. is his second shot. He cleans the glass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Ball down low. Puts it on the floor. It's around fadeaway. On the outside. up with it. Missed the jumper. There's 
the trap. Number 41 is whistled for the foul. Second team foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, that's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a burst of foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Chance for an easy one. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Yes, two at the charity strike. The man might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. Flames are up as we take a pause in the action. Check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, guys, you saw how animated and excited the head coach was during that last time out. He was urging his guys to give him more, dig deeper, and not hold anything back. He also mentioned they must maintain the same energy coming out of that timeout. Well, Dick, it really seems as though things are starting to heat up right now on the sidelines. Hey, coaches hate to see their players underperform. Playing to their capabilities is important. He's going to stay on them all game to make sure everyone on the floor is playing as hard as they can play on every possession. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. A couple of free ones. Hits that one. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. And there they miss one. He takes the rebound. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. And now getting set up here in a four-round one. I tell you, that big guy they have that can step out and go inside is really special. He gives you that flexibility, which makes the offense multifaceted. Nope. <laughs> Trying to feed inside. Takes the jumper. You can't get away with that. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him for the easy basket. Chance to get an easy one here. He hits the first shot. He can't buy one. He takes the board. A little two-man action. On the outside, he shoots from the corner, scores it. Out on the right wing. On 
the dribble, gives it up. That spin move is not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They're working around the perimeter. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. Gave it up. For the bucket. And we're going the other way. Could spell some trouble. And a momentary look from three-point land. We approach ten seconds now on the shot clock. And off the mark. In terms of balanced teams, what might we expect from them game to game, Dick? I think when you have balance inside, outside scoring, tempo control, where you control the pace of the game, and that's what they try to do with their balance. They'll go fast, they'll go slow. They try to dictate tempo. The Cougars seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup, Dick. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. By the time they're in their fourth year of eligibility, they're a solid and reliable basketball player. down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Diggity, and it's blocked. Moving it around the perimeter. With the jumper. Jumper won't go. With the board. Fill the lane. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. And they go into their motion offense, working with four around one here. I love the four around one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. Now you've got to give help on him, and it leaves people open on the perimeter. And they better be able to make that open jump shot. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nessler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Let's go free throws down. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They've got him right where they want him, Richard. up for two. Dick, are they being taken out of their game offensively? Hey, they're taking themselves out of the game by rushing bad shots and not executing an offense. Nice pass to the low block. Knocks it down. Right, let's take a look here at the tempos for both these teams. Well, it looks like both of them are going to be battling to see who can control the tempo and put pressure on the opponent. Looking for the pick now. Hey, the two-man game is great to watch when you have an intelligent dribbler and a skilled big man. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. There was no doubt about that one. The Cougars are going to have to make some modifications here, Dick. They're going to have to throw out the idea of playing in the half court and get this into more of an up-tempo game. They've got to score quick and get some defensive stops, Brad. They don't usually play up-tempo, but they're going to have to do it now. 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Perfectly executed. They go in transition. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will see. He got the layup to go and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the pass in spite of it. He goes to the line for the first time. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. They've got him trapped. He can't beat the trap. What a great defensive trap there. Looking for a good shot. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. The Cougars set up into their zone motion offense. Boy, I'll tell you what, man. The zone motion offense creates a lot of opportunities. If you get ball movement and player movement, if you get people to step into the gaps of the zone and reverse the ball, you'll get good shots. Looking for a good shot. the six-minute mark. They work the perimeter. Shoots! The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Cross court. For two. He couldn't get it to fall. Shooting guard gets the ball. For the bucket. Was that beautiful or what? Balanced teams, Dick. What are some of the things that they'll try to accomplish when they step out on the court? Definitely, Brad. They prefer a more balanced style. Picking and choosing when to force the tempo and when to settle down in the half court. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Good find on that back cut, Mr. Vitale. You know, Brad, as a coach, you teach your players to read the defender. And when he's not looking, deliver the pass. Now work it around the arc. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive play. The center gets the ball. Gets the J to fall. About four minutes remaining on the game clock. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He makes the block. Out of bounds and we're staying right here. Inbound on the near sideline. He goes up with it. He misses the J. Number four receives the ball. 
So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. There's a double team waiting there. And the fans here are loving the action. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Gabriel receives the pass. About three minutes remaining on the game clock. Working it around the perimeter. Over the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The point guard gets the ball. Up and inside. Wow, look at him rotate over. They're working around the perimeter. Turnaround jumper. Can't connect. Basic. Two minutes left on the game clock for the deuce. Lays it up. What a pass on the backdoor cut. I tell you, what a great play. That's coaching. That's teaching. That's terrific execution. The backdoor cut from the weak side. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Defense doing a great job pushing the basketball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. With the J. Missed it. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Tries for two. He can't get And it's knocked away. Great block. a hand in the way. Shot clock is dead. On the outside. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? <laughs> Trying to execute on the inbounds. Stops the clock again. When he gets to the line, he's usually making them. I think that's one thing he takes a great deal of pride in. He realizes the importance of free throw. No finish on that one. We've got a pause in the action. More NCAA basketball coverage coming up right after this. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. As you guys know, free throw shooting becomes very important down the stretch. The coaching staff is aware of this, and we'll be talking about this in the timeout. It'll be up to the players to knock them down. Well, Dick, execution coming out of a timeout is really important, wouldn't you say? Definitely, Brad. The play you call or defense you decide to run coming out of a timeout could make or break you. 
good coaches will always ensure that their teams are clear on the expectations coming out of a timeout. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Pushes it up. Goes up. Rims out. Hot shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. They have to to send them to the line and hope they miss. The Cougars are a pretty good free throw shooting team, Dick. Too many games are lost in the charity strike. As a coach, it's good knowing that you have players on your roster who can knock them down. Vitale and Brad Nessler with you here, ready for the inbound after that timeout. Pushes it. He tries the three ball. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Number five to the line for the one and one Makes the front end of the one and one Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. This is the big time. They are struggling from trifecta lane so far. Yeah, they're having serious trouble hitting the shot tonight, Brad. That's surprising for this team. And now let's take a look at our players of the game. A real nice performance by both young guys. Some special, special players. 